facts, we are going to learn more about audio. Uh, audio is very important. Like if you have something like this, like an animation without audio, it seems kind of dead. So it's, uh, audio is a very important part of your uh, project. Uh, first of all, where do we get the audio? Um, well, on the website, I have a couple links um, where you can get audio. So under the draft, there's a link called Story Audio, and then there's a bunch of uh, sites. This is uh, fr royalty-free uh, downloads that you can use. And so if I like to use Free Play, and then from Free Play, you can look through a lot of different genres of music um, that they have available, and they ha they range from 30 seconds to a minute. I mean, look at all the styles that they have that you can choose from. Wow. Okay. So hundreds of music. And then once you get into it, you can see here it says the tempo, medium or fast, medium, slow. It says the style. It says what instruments are being used. Then it shows how much of the clip do you want to download. Okay. So uh, really go for that. And then if you want sound effects, um, there's also links for sound effects to get those as well. And sound effects really play an important part of your story. So after you've clicked the download, um, the file. So let's say I want this one, warming up or warming up lifting. I'll get 30 seconds of that. So I just click that, download, I hit save. Um, after it's saved, I hit command I in my project to import. Uh, the clip is called get down. So I'm going to import that file, get down. I'll hit OK. And then I'll click on get down and then drag it into my composition and then drop it in. And then after I drop it in, I can modify it. And the good thing about this is, um, let's say I have another clip called get, get well, job well done. I can drag that clip in as well. So um, you can have multiple clips and multiple sound effects. So um, now many students, they say, hey, I hit the space bar, but it doesn't play. Okay, well, yeah, it doesn't play from the space bar preview. What you have to do is go in the top right section and click on RAM preview. If you hit RAM preview, okay, then it's going to be, see the green bar going out. And then when I hit space bar, you'll hear the sound. Okay, so that's how you would do um, if you want to hear the sound effects that you have. Now, um, let's say you want to like uh, do the beats like as the video is playing you wanna do stuff according to the beat well wh while it's playing if you hit the asterisk key the asterisk is like the little star looking thing on your keyboard so when I hit um, play and make sure the track is selected I can hit the asterisk key okay so watch see the I hit RAM preview, so I can basically be, see the little um, coins here? Yeah, those are, when I push that asterisk key, that's when it placed them. So that helps me decide like, okay, I want to put like the text on the beat. So if it's like the drum like dun 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 dun, I want to be able to put, you know, different text effects at the dun, you know? So you can try that as well. Um, now let's say it's too soft. You want to make it louder. Um, no problem. Just go in here, click on that little arrow. You have this audio function, and you have your audio levels. If you want the whole clip like uh, higher in volume, you just do the whole thing. Okay. Or um, now, do you guys remember waveform? We yeah. We learned that in Audacity. If you click on that, you'll see the waveform of, of how big or how loud it is. Watch when I change my audio levels. Notice they're getting smaller, and then they're getting bigger. Now, let's say I wanted, see how in the beginning it's kind of soft? Let's say I just wanted the beginning to be louder. So all I need to do is hit on the timer, okay? And then let's say I want to make it gradually get louder. So I can go to here and then make it go higher. So it's, it's automatically going to do that. So it works very similar to um, what we did before using the animation um, 
effects, okay? Now, let's say we want to do a sound effect to our little clip, okay? So let's say I want to do a reverb. You guys know what reverb means? What's reverb? Yeah, reverb is kind of like an echoey style of effect. So all I do is click on reverb. And by the way, this is in effects and presets, audio. And then I click on reverb and just drag it right on that clip. And notice now effects is there, and that's my reverb. And then I can like um, change this. Now dry out, dry out means the original sound. And wet dry means like the effect. So if I want more of an effect, I'll increase this maybe to like 30, 40, 50% and decrease this. So that's the original and that's the effect. So now if I play it, you hear the echoey effect? Okay, I can also uh, hit backwards if I want to play the audio backwards and get like a cool little effect. I can do that as well, so I'll play that. Oh, sorry. So it didn't sound very well playing backwards, but some sound effect or some sound clips, they sound really good uh, playing backwards. Um, the other thing with audio is make sure that if you have background audio with your narration, it's not very distracting and loud, make sure you can always hear your voice um, very clearly and that that doesn't take away from it. And sound effects, man, that's really crucial into really bringing um, alive your animation in your story. Okay, so that's a little bit of intro about sound and then when you export it, remember file, export, and then export as a QuickTime movie and then choose the highest compression rates and then hit OK. Um, for size, I mean usually HD is really good or you can just use current and it'll keep the same settings and then hit OK. Now it usually takes a little bit to export out, so you hit export and then go take a break, get a snack, watch TV and then come back and then it'll be ready to go.